In this video, we are going to discuss about collinearity. 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 So, what is collinearity? So, we know that if two line, if two points is uh, collinear, always two points are always collinear. If you consider three more, th three points on the same line, so that is the the, uh, the points which are on the same line is called collinear. The points. The points which are on the same line, same line is collinear points or collinear points. Now, so in this coordinate geometry, so we can find, we can verify the collinear points in so many ways, so many ways. First, distance formula. By using distance formula, we can find distance, distance formula, distance formula is used, distance formula is used to find whether the given points are collinear or not. Now, area of triangle formula, area of triangle, so area of triangle formula also is used to find whether the given points are collinear or not. Another line is slope formula, slope formula, slope formula, we can find the slope formula. So based on these three formulas, we can find whether the given points are collinear or not, collinear or not. So distance, so coming to the distance, so if A, B, C on the same line, on the same line, distance, sum of any two distances, sum of any two distances is equal to third distance. Sum of any two distances is equal to third distance. So this is, so how to find the collinear points, collinear points. Now coming to the area of triangle, triangle. So when the given three points are collinear points, it does not form a triangle because a triangle forms by the non-collinear points, non-collinear points. If three points are non-collinear, then only triangle forms. Then how to find how to find whether the given points are collinear or not by using the triangle area formula. If the area of triangle is zero, if the area of triangle is zero, then the three points are collinear. We concluded that the three points are collinear. The area of triangle that means never the area of triangle never be zero when it is formed. But it is not formed in the sense that means area of triangle is zero in the sense that is a collinear point. That means area of triangle triangle does not forms. Triangle does not forms. So area of triangle ABC is equal to zero. Area of triangle ABC is equal to zero means so area of triangle does not forms. That means triangle does not form. When triangle does not form, the both the, all the three lines are three points on the same line same line now how to find the slope slope we know that already the slope of a line is unique the slope of a line is unique so between any two points a and b and c so we can find the slope of ab slope of ab is equals to slope of ac if you make these two lines slope of AB is equal to slope of AC, then the line points are collinear. The line points are so collinear. So now, how to find, how to find X value in three different cases? Let me show now. Let us observe this question. Find the value of M for which the coordinates 6, 10, M, 12 and 1, 15. 1, 15 are collinear. So in this case we need to find M. So how to find M first? Eh? So now we are going to two different methods how to find this uh, uh, M value. So first one is area method, another one is slope method. So area method, area method and slope method. Slope method. Let me first area method. So to find the area so area of collinear points is zero. If three points are collinear, then area will be zero. Area of triangle ABC must be zero. So this is half into 
मॉडल एस ऑफ एक्स वन इंटू वाई टू माइनस वाई थ्री प्लस एक्स टू इंटू वाई थ्री माइनस वाई वन प्लस एक्स थ्री इंटू वाई वन माइनस वाई टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो नो नीड मॉडल एस हियर बिकॉज ऑलवेज दट इज ऑलवेज जीरो रीजन वाई वी शुड नॉट टेक दिस एस मॉडल एस सो दिस इज हाफ हाफ ऑल्सो टेक दिस साइड जीरो सो दिस इज एक्स वन एक्स वन दिस इज एक्स वन वाई वन एक्स टू वाई टू एंड एक्स थ्री वाई थ्री एक्स वन इज सिक्स वाई टू मीन्स ट्वेल्व माइनस फिफ्टीन ट्वेल्व माइनस फिफ्टीन प्लस एक्स टू इज यम सो वाई थ्री फिफ्टीन माइनस टेन फिफ्टीन माइनस टेन प्लस एक्स थ्री इज वन सो वाई वन माइनस टेन माइनस ट्वेल्व टेन माइनस ट्वेल्व इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन सिक्स इन टू दिस इज माइनस थ्री प्लस यम इन टू दिस इज फाइव दिस इज वन इन टू माइनस टू इक्वल जीरो then this value is minus eighteen uh, plus five m minus two is equal to zero. this is take it as minus twenty plus five m is equal to zero. then five m is equal to twenty. so m is equal to twenty by five. so m is equal to four. the value m is equal to four. so this is area of triangle method. area of triangle method. we are we in this method we should make the area of triangle as zero because the collinear points does not forms a triangle that's the reason why area of triangle formed by the collinear points is always zero so we are making the uh, formula to zero we are making formula is zero then we can get uh, by simplifying the values we can get m is equals to 4 so now how to find in this method so whenever it is a line whenever it is line so let me consider first a this is 6 comma Ten, six comma ten. So I am taking B. B is equal to m comma twelve, and C. C is equal to one comma fifteen. So this is C. Let me consider. This is one comma fifteen. So now how to find that by using slope formula? So slope formula. So slope of A B. Slope of A B is equal to slope of A C. Slope of A C. So what is slope formula? Y two minus y one by x two minus x one. Y two minus y one. What is y two? So this is twelve minus ten by x two minus x one m minus six. So in this case, A C A C means y two minus y one. Fifteen minus ten by so one minus six. One minus six. This is twelve. This is two by m minus six is equal to how much is five by minus five. Five by minus five. So this is two by m minus six is equal to minus one. Take this side. So two is equal to minus one into m minus six. So this is two is equal to minus m plus six. Minus m plus six. So take minus m this side. So m is equal to plus six minus two. So m is equal to four. So in this method also we can find the slope. We can find the m value. So I think there are two methods. Two methods. One other method also is there. So by using section formula also we can find students <coughs> alternate method for the collinear points by using section formula. By using section formula. How to find section formula based on section formula? So we are going to consider. So A, B, C. A, B, C are any three points that should be collinear. That is given six comma ten, and this is m comma twelve, and this is given one comma fifteen. One comma fifteen. So let let consider. Let you consider this is m one is to m two ratio. M one is to m two ratio by using section formula. So according to that, this is x one by one. This is x comma y, and this is x two y two. So now, so x axis. So we know two formulas. M one is two. M two is equals to x minus x one is two. X two minus x. This is one formula. So based on the x coordinates, based on the y coordinates also we have another formula. This is y minus y one is two. Y two minus y. This is based on y coordinates. So now consider based on y coordinates. M one is two. M two is equals to Y Y is nothing but twelve minus Y one Y one is equal to ten is to Y two Y two is equal to fifteen based on Y is equal to twelve this is two is to three so two is to three ratio now we are applying this formula 
So m1 in the place of 2, m2 in the place of 3, that is equals to x minus x1, x is equals to m minus x1 is equals to 6 is 2, x2, x2 is equals to 1 minus x is equals to m. So you can consider 2 by 3 is equals to m minus 6 by 1 minus m, m minus 6 by 1 minus m. Do the cross multiplication 2 into 1 minus m is equals to 3 into m minus 6. The 2 minus 2m, 2 minus 2m is equals to 3m minus 18, 3m minus 18. So then, so you can consider 18, take this side, 2 plus 18 is equals to 3m plus 2m. This is 20 is equals to 5m, where m is equals to 4, m is equals to 4. So in this method also, totally there are 3 methods to find, 3 methods to find. So first one is... So first one is, uh, by using distance formula it is very difficult to find the m value. So because squares and square roots are involved. So easily we can find the three methods. So first one is uh, area method. So area method. Second one is slope method. Slope method. Third one is section formula method. Section formula. By using these three methods. So we are able to find the variable. So involved in the collinear points. One variable involved in the collinear points. So thank you students if you have any doubts uh, please uh, make a uh, message to me on this video so thank you thank you one and all